Hi everybody, Jeff Sloan here, Editor-in-Chief of Composites World. We're at JEC 2023 in Paris, France, and I'm in the Victrex booth, and standing with me here is Claire Stegel murphy She is the Strategic Technology Manager, is that right? Yep. At Victrex. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about thermoplastic composites today. So Claire, tell us a little bit about what you do at Victrex. So my role as a strategic technology manager kind of splits the difference between R&D and the sales and applications world. I came into the business through our, our parts making entity in Rhode Island um, and have since transitioned into an R&D role, but I'm really industrial fo industrially focused. So I work on a lot of data readiness. Um, if our customers have specific questions or need certain information about our materials or parts, I'll go chase down that information and um, uh, still very much used in the in the selling both materials and parts, uh, supporting our sales staff as a technical expert in composites. Okay. And you love thermoplastics. I love thermoplastics. I really love composites. I will talk to anybody about composites and this, this doesn't feel like work to me. It's it's a privilege to be here. Great. So if anybody wants to talk composites, swing by the Victrex booth. Yes. Um, uh, Victrex, Victrex's LM PAKE or PAEK material was recently qualified by the National Institute of Aviation Research. First of all, congratulations. Well, thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. So we qualified our uh, Victrex A250 AS4 unidirectional tape. So we buy fiber um, from Hexel. All of our tapes use Hexel fiber. It's a 143 GSM tape, 34% resin content and we did a full B basis allowables program with NCAMP. Um, took about two and a half years yep. of really hard work, um, but I think the payoff is there. It's available at NCAMP's website and ready for use in your designs. And we're gonna qualify two more products uh, over the next couple of years. And probably the first one, to connect, the next one to come out will be our AS7 product. So this is a big deal because thermoplastics are kind of behind the curve in terms of qualification when compared to thermosets. Absolutely. Um, but there's a lot of interest in thermoplastics for a lot of really good reasons. But since you're the expert, why don't you tell us what you think are the primary benefits of thermoplastics? Why are they so important? Durability, fatigue and damage tolerance. I think that's probably the number one thing when I think about when I'm in an aircraft, what do I want that aircraft to do? I want it to be durable. Yeah. And I believe that the LMPAC polymer has been a technology and it's an, a technology enabling polymer. It allows um, customers who make really large structures to be successful in laying up large structures, whether it's with in situ AFP or vacuum bag only out of autoclave um, consolidation. Yeah. Uh, we've had a lot of partners uh, successful with both our tape and, and other tapes out there using the A250 polymer. And I think that that's just, that's what it's gonna, that's what we need to be able to bring thermoplastics into the mainstream in an aerospace. There's a sustainability aspect too. Certainly. Um, and materials management, you don't have the temperature requirements that you do with thermosets. Talk a little bit about that. That's actually, this is a really good point, Jeff, because um, thermoplastics, when it comes to temperature tolerance, they can operate above their, their glass transition temperature. Um, for example, the continuous use temperature of our materials is around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right. pretty. It's pretty hot. <laughs> it's pretty hot. And and on a sustainability aspect, they are recyclable. You can melt and cool and melt and cool these materials. Um, you can grind up the end of life and uh, say a plane at the end of its life made out of thermoplastics. You can grind it and turn it into an injection compound or a molding compound. So hopefully, it never ends up in a landfill. All right, so let's talk about um, emerging markets and technologies. Thermoplastics have typically been relatively small structures. Yeah. They're getting bigger. Um, and we've got some emerging markets that, that are in line to use them. So just talk through some of that. So I don't think it's any secret that the advanced air mobility sector is, it's a market that needs aerospace quality and reliability with automotive rates. And what, what materials can do that? Well, thermoplastics. Right. You know, and especially ones with a, a qualify a qualification behind them. They have the pedigree of you know oversight from the FAA and working with NCAMP. And it's a material that can be processed quickly, but you get a really high quality result. And I think that that's AAM market is perfectly suited for the use of thermoplastics, whether it's stuff you can hold in your hand or whether it's the airframe. I believe that thermoplastics absolutely involve uh, belong in that market. Well. 
thanks, Claire, for these uh, words of wisdom. Appreciate your uh, excitement about thermoplastics. Obviously, it's really important to the composites industry. So again, Jeff Sloan, Editor-in-Chief Composites World with Claire Stegel-Murphy at Victrex, and have a good day.